What's happening guys? It's John here for another AFID tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be making a sort of ring pulse effect, which is hopefully on your screen now. So, I really think this is probably one of the most powerful visual effects things you can do because it's so um, sort of like simple, minimal. It's not going to take up too much screen time. It's not going to be too distracting and take away from anything else, but it's effective and loads of games use it so let's just jump straight in and get started we're going to need to create ourselves a material which i'm going to call ring pulse mat and we're going to try and do all of this just in the material editor without having to worry about textures to keep our game memory space low so i'm going to let's set it to additive and two-sided and I'm going to hold three and create my color. I'm going to set my ring pulse because the first example as I'm going to use it is sort of Spider-Man-esque. So I'm going to just get my material, my color, and I'm going to put that on a multiply and put that into my base. I'm going to start previewing this node. I don't know why, I feel like when I'm previewing the node, it previews faster than if I don't. Cool. All right, so all this is going to do is it's going to show our block as red, which is fine. That's good. But we want this to look like a ring. So let's start by making this look like a ring. And to do so, I'm going to get myself a radial gradient. And the radial gradient can just go directly into here. And you know, I'm, I'm just going to give that a minute. But uh, there we go, looks like a red dot. Simple, elegant, yeah. All right, what would happen though, because we want to invert this if we got a sign. We, if we looked for a sign and we put that in there and then put you in there. What effect would this have on our outcome? <gasps> it's made a ring, that's totally unexpected. Now, of course it was. Let's tweak this ring a bit down, play with this ring. Because at the moment, I just want to sort of tweak like sort of like the thickness of it and whatnot. And let's get some numbers. I'm just gonna hold one. I'm just gonna play like the radius and the density. Let's say if I wanted to make this thing slightly more dense, I could go 1.2. And the radius, we're gonna want to be quite small. So I'm just going to drag into it. Because ultimately what's going to happen is it's going to be small and it's going to pulse outwards. In theory. Cool. There we go. In actuality. Excellent. And I'm not done with that, but I'm going to be done with that for now. I'm going to put a pin in that. Because for what I'd like to do next is sort of make the scaling part of this. So to do the scaler, what we're going to do is get a scale UV by center unsurprisingly and drag you into you all right and now the scale we need to go between point a and point b and the easiest way to do that is with a, a linear interpolation awesome so i'm going to need let's get three numbers this time and plug each of you into you and into you so at the moment we're looking at point a and point A is currently set to zero. Too small, too much of nothingness. So let's go 0 0.5. because so we still want a sort of invisible, like a small point. Nope, let's actually go 0 0.5. There we go, we've got a tiny little ring. And next we're gonna want the really big part where it's gone full on outside the part. So let's say it's 16 and let's preview that by holding on one. Cool, okay. That's what our ring looks like. We're probably gonna want it to go a bit further though. Let's just, for, but for now, we'll tweak and play with that in the end. So I'm just gonna set that to 19 and we want to test this actually in action. So I'm gonna delete my one I'm going to replace it with time 
and just for now I'm going to put a period of one there so we could see it popping up and down in I'm sure the beautiful way that it will so this what this should hopefully do is it should have it scale from really small to really big and it does nice cool okay it's coming along I don't I'm not personally I don't want this to constantly be triggering though constantly going off so I'm going to want a little bit more control over it so I'm going to get myself a clamp and I'm also going to get myself a multiplier I'm just going to drag you guys over here a little bit more and the clamp is going to go in there you're going to go in there and you're going to go in there I'm going to set my period to let's say over three seconds and I'm going to multiply it by two and in the clamp, basically what I want to happen is, mm, let's set you to about 0 0.1 and set you to 2.5. So the multiplier should make the thing happen faster, but what the clamp's going to do is, hope, I'm hoping it's, it's going to give me a second, give me half a second where you know, the thing's not triggering, where we've just got like nothingness, because I want the pulse just to happen once and I don't really want it more than that. If I could, I mean, I could play with the clamp and I could play with these numbers a bit more and it should, it'd give me a different effect. But let's see how this pans out. Also, see how we're getting that like half a second now where it's, we've just got the blackness? That's totally what I was going for. So I'm pretty much going to be done with the scale component. So if I highlight all, press C, I'm going to call this the scale part. So if I wanted to tweak the scale, like the speed of it all and everything, I can do all that there. What I want to actually do is play a little bit more with the shape and make it a little bit more sort of dynamic and exciting. And how I'm going to do that is with more. So I'm going to get myself a multiply. At the moment, our sign is going to our, multipl uh, to our base multiplier, but we're going to multiply it by something else. Just to get a bit more, I want a bit more of a, an electrifying, shocking look. So at the moment, it just looks too ring-like. So I'm going to get myself a tangent. And my tangent is going to go into here. And that should give us a bit more of an electrifying look. Interesting. So we get a nice sort of like ring pulse out of this, which is pretty cool. But what I want to sort of deal with are these lines over here. And I'm just gonna take my density down a little bit, just a touch. And maybe increase this by just a touch as well. Should we say to maybe 16 as well? Let's just so sort of quickly see what effect that has on it. Cool, much better. We've not got to worry about this little dot now. So a problem I have with this at the moment is if you look in the top corners, we can see where it's just hitting the edge of the shape and we don't want that, it looks rubbish so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to take ourselves another one of these bad boys and we're going to multiply our outcomes together and if we remember the radial gradient is going to force it all within a circle quite nicely what this should hopefully do is it should stop the outer part Excellent, excellent. Cool, let's give this a test, shall we? I'm gonna open my third person blueprint character. And what I want to do is I want to use this sort of like Spider-Man style. So let's add a quick plane. And we'll call it Spidey Sense. And I suppose this, this effect should hopefully in theory not just because like sort of 
Spider-Man effect, but like any sort of like, I'm gonna use this like any sort of psychic power. Cool, and let's sort of just try and get that right in the middle of his head. Yeah, that looks quite good. All right, and inside our material, we're gonna set this to a ring pulse mat. Yeah, look at that go, look at it go. Let's scale it up a bit as well just so it's nice and at least for the player. Is that too much? I feel like that's too much. Nah. And I'm just gonna put you over there for now. Let's give this a test. Look at that, psychically communicating, talking to each other, warning each other about their spider sense. So I mean, ultimately this is the base effect. This is at the point where it's really good and we've not used any sort of textures to create it. We've done it all in the material and we're at a point where we can just edit the color. So if I don't want it to be red, it could be anything else and looking pretty cool. But yeah, I'm happy with that. That's something, but what would happen if we wanted to sort of play with this a little bit more? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play with this a little bit more. So this is like optional extra extension work reading task. <laughs> um, yeah, let's let's do a bit more. I I'm not happy with the the one pulse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make more of that. Let's just give ourselves a little bit of room to work. And basically, I'm gonna get myself a. Let's get ourselves a cosine and what would happen if we then put our cosine into our tangent and put you up into there. What should happen is more. I'm looking for more sort of like radio waves this time. Like a pulsing sort of radio wave system. Awesome, look at all those like radio waves. Yes, looking really cool. But at the moment we've still got this weird ringing out effect. So let's do more. What we're gonna use now is we're gonna use one slightly different. We're gonna use a, a one minus. And basically how this works is it sort of like inverts and duplicates everything. So let's just experiment. Let's put one of you in there like that. Let's take a cosine and plug you into a tangent like that. And let's sort of see what this does. Oh my God, it's looking so like so Warner Brothers-y, but looking really cool. Just one more touch, I think. Let's just get rid of this same as what we did before. We're just gonna take another one of you, and we're gonna take another one of you, and the outcome from you is gonna go there, the outcome from this is gonna go there, and let's plug you into there, let's grab all of you, not you, I say not you, and let's go see, and we'll call this shape, because that's basically a shape. And there we go, look at this, we've got even more sort of like radio is going on. We can play with the numbers on this, we could play with the numbers on the scale, and we could sort of keep going with this, but let's sort of try this out and see if we can get like a different effect going from it. This time, should we go for, let's just mix it up and try it out as a blue. And I'm gonna save. Ah, uh, looking super electrifying. And for sake of test, let's let's go for a different effect on this now. So I'm gonna rotate you down to like 90 degrees and let's put it by our feet, shall we? And 
to scale it up again a bunch. And let's sort of use this as an effect, like we could use this as like a really sort of nice ground pound effect. Uh, probably should increase the density. No, it's fine, it's fine. We could use this like, like I say, it's a nice sort of ground pound effect and by default, I'm going to set you as invisible. And let's just go into a graph and why not? Let's just put on left trigger. On left trigger. So I'm, I'm only doing this just so we could sort of see what it looks like. Right, did I do that the right way round? Let's just, oops, let's just have a quick look. I know what I did, I know what I did wrong as a foolish man. So, by default, let's try you again. What? Okay, almost there. I got my triggers the wrong way around. All this for the sake of a test. All right, let's try this again. Cool. So, like I say, you'd probably set this on a collision or on some other kind of event, but when we hit the ground, Create a pulse. Let's try this one more time. And boom. yeah, that's okay. It's just we're not really controlling the time, which we probably have to put in the timeline. And one more for good luck. So there you go guys that is a really sort of powerful effect that you can do a lot with it's in loads of games like splatoon 2 i've seen it it's in pokemon go do you know where you catch a pokemon next time you play that you catch a pokemon that's pretty much like the effect that like pulses out of it when you see it but once you know it's there you'll be looking for it everywhere and yeah there you go i really like it as a sort of spider-man effect it'd be sort of re really nice on like a spawn or a capture or like say even a sort of landing so hope you found that useful if you have as always like subscribe let us know in the comments all that good stuff because it supports us making all of these if you really really liked it we do have a patreon which you can go check out and yeah thanks for watching guys